So now I'm going to show one of the built-in tab page handlers. So I'm going to add a layout that I've constructed here. And now I'm going to connect to the server and I'm going to start. So the first thing you notice along the top here are there are three tabs. These are called tab pages. So the ones I have loaded are a default tab page, the diagnostics tab page, and the teleoperation tab page. You can have up to 25 tab pages, each with a different handler. So for this demo, I'm going to show you the diagnostics tab page. Now, it's just showing test data right now. If you click on a piece of test data, you'll see that the device level is displayed, along with the name, the hardware ID, and the message from the device. Additionally, per the ROS message format, you can see the keys and the values, which aren't that interesting right now. In addition to just diagnostics messages, we can also look at the aggregated diagnostics data if you have set up diagnostic aggregators on your system. So what that does is it groups diagnostic messages into categories based on your aggregators. So here we have test. If we click on it once, we get a highlighted list of everything in the bottom. If we click again, we can go look at more detailed information for any of those devices. Clicking twice takes us up a category. The, the LED next to the name will show the overall status of that category. So let's take a look in Touch OSC. So under the Touch OSC handler, I have two diagnostic aggregators set up. We have one for handlers, which has a diagnostic message for each tab page handler that's currently loaded, and also one for Touch OSC. So that will let us look at all of our clients. So we see here, this is us. ECE iPad 1. It is an iPad. It's currently looking at the Diagnostics tab, and it has three tab pages known to us, Teleop, Controls, and Diagnostics.